presentation you are about to view is what it is. You can debate it, discuss it, and ponder its content until the cows come in. However, the sad fact as to the horrors that are unfolding upon this planet could literally bring tears to a glass eye. I have deleted the dates and times for the global prophecies to fulfill themselves, as in the greater schedule of time it does not matter. However, what does matter are the collective light entities locked into this illusion. Therefore, understanding this, it would be wise indeed to prepare oneself for the future. Hello, my name is Peter C. Nuttall and welcome to Prophecies from Within the Veil of Light. I commenced the writing of this book in the early 1990s. For all these years, this book has been under lock and key. The reason the time was not right for it to be released to the public. However, the time has arrived for this book to be released as fear is everywhere and it is totally out of control. There is much to discover at a deep and personal perspective when viewing this presentation. May your life and all life be enhanced through the light of light. This work is dedicated to all the first survivors of the coming apocalyptic events scheduled to take place upon this earth. It is further dedicated to the survivors who live through the second scheduled cleansing process. This work is further dedicated to all the life streams of light and memory, as the third stage of cleansing is time, millenniums of time that shall breed out all pollution of the darkness imprinted and carried in the blood of these remaining survivors until there is no need for this dedication, for it never was. This work is presented with great respect and humility. It is to be of service. There are countless souls living upon this earth who live their lives in total horror, pain and suffering caused from the ravages of disease and deterioration. Untold vast numbers of people every day go to their graves prematurely because of the disease process of darkness. You would think that there would be some sort of common denominator that would unite and bind mankind to alleviate this horror. In my opinion, as sad as it is, mankind has lost its way from the pathway of light and follows the pathway of darkness that illuminates upon this earth. The darkness that leaves nothing in its path except destruction and needless waste. However, in spite of this horror of reality, there is something stirring at a deep unconscious level from within the very fabric of mankind. The kingdom of light and the gods are from within. The kingdom of darkness and the gods are from the outside. There is no choice. You cannot have one without the other, as above, as below, duality in being. I have seen a vision, a vision of events that shall come to pass. Therefore, understanding this, there can only be one course of action and that is to survive. Those who are prepared and able to raise their vibrational frequencies shall survive. Those not prepared to do this shall perish. The transition process of the events as witnessed from the vision is well underway and is being felt by all who inhabit this planet. Well, this is fantastic and enlightening, so what? You had a vision, big deal, say those shrouded in darkness. And you know what? I agree with those who are in the darkness. However, the vision is no isolated occurrence on this planet, as there are millions upon millions of people worldwide who have seen the vision. Then there are countless numbers of people who have deep feelings of despair, dread, and uncertainty that something 
is not just quite right on this planet. Therefore, I believe, and by believing, then it is just good common sense to be prepared. For it would be a fool indeed not to pay heed to all the warning signs of our times. I believe in the vision, for it ushers in the golden age of illumination and enlightenment for mankind. We the people of the world must unite as one and change the series of events scheduled to take place upon this earth. In essence, we can do it the hard way or the easy way. It is our choice. Well, so what have you seen in this so-called vision of yours? Ask those enlightened souls from within the veil of darkness. My reply to these inquisitive souls would be the following prophecies. But first, it is wise to believe in everything and to believe in nothing. Treat everything in the prophecies as nothing more than pure fiction and pure fairy tales. And here it shall remain until time unfolds. And so it begins. Prophecy 1. The Global Greed of a Few The concentration of the wealth of the world accompanied by the directed acts of deception as performed upon the people of the world by the grand masters of illusion shall spiral out of control, imploding into nothingness of despair. And what is the concept of greed? Never before in the known history of mankind has the wealth of the world been so concentrated into the hands of a very few select entities. When you understand this sad reality, you will comprehend and truly understand the elite's mandate. And what is that? It is that accumulated wealth by way of rape, pillage, usury, deception and war are nothing more than ways and means of controlling the cattle of the land. Understanding this, the animals of the world must be kept dumbed down for their own good. You now know why 90% of the world's population are poor and live out their lives in horror. Do the words pain, misery and suffering mean anything? The time is upon all of mankind to stop the darkness. Darkness that is ignorance, stupidity, desire and greed. It is time to wake up and say no to the exalted golden sheep leaders who state to us all the time, we command you to be submissive and to obey your masters and to obey them when they come to rip the wool off your backs. It is time for you to wake up and say, I am sick of the wool being ripped off my back. And then you shall understand the needs of a few are far more important than what you shall ever be. And why is this so? It is so because you have been classified as a useless eater. Therefore, understand this. Time is an illusion. Space is an illusion. You are an illusion. And you shall feel the horror and pain of this illusion. Ask the millions of people who need food, who starve to death, who have been classified as useless eaters. And it brings a sickness to you. And what is sickness? It is pure madness. For I see what you have. I must have it. I know I do not need it. However, I see what you have. Therefore, I shall do all that I must do to have it. And rest assured, the global cleansing is coming. Prophecy 2 Global Mind Control of the Masses The advancement and acceleration of the mind-controlled methods used to subdue the masses. The use of super advanced technology creating global illusions and negative brain stimulation on the earth's population. Do you feel like something evil is playing with your brain? Think about it. Is it mind control that brings into being higher levels of emotional warfare to raise and to advance greater levels of fear into the masses? Is it mind control fear that stimulates hysteria and the total submission of the masses of the world? 
Is it global mind control that will set into motion the internal self-destruct process of the masses? What does this mean? It means be prepared to be violated in ungodly ways. And then you'll say, I have feelings. Hey, give me a break. Are you losing faith in your government and politicians? Do you feel like you are disrespected? Wake up. And then don't go along, go like this and say, I need something to put me to sleep. They'll put you to sleep. They'll put you to sleep forever. Think about it. Obey your masters or else. Their message is clear to all who understand and don't understand. And that is, pay attention, people of the world. Obey us or you shall die. Prophecy 3. The New World Order where all shall receive exactly what they deserve, and all shall be good upon the earth. It shall become known that the empire that never fell shall rise again as a new world order, and everything will be fantastic. There will be a creation of a new world system of control that shall rule for 1,000 years, a system of control that will breed out all diffused light and cleanse the blood of all polluted memories and desires. And all the cleansed upon the earth shall enter in to a new age of enlightenment. And all the people will run around saying, I'm ready, I'm ready, sign me up, I want to join. You shall join as fairy tales do come true. And that is if you are totally out of your mind. And I looked upon the hill and I seen, and the beast said, this, ah, things are going better than I planned. Think about it. What a wonderful world we live in. And the rivers and oceans of the world shall run red from the countless souls slaughtered who believed in the grand fairy tale. And all was good upon the earth. Folks, do you really believe an office building in New York City is going to save you, then good luck if you do in your dream world, for you shall need it. Prophecy 4. The concept of peace. The concept of world peace is exactly that. A concept in horror. Ask the billions of souls who have been exterminated throughout our history. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe in Santa Claus? That's right the fat guy in the red suit. Ho, 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 boys and girls. I have something very special planned for you. What's that, Santa? This is it. Have a nice, peaceful sleep, boys and girls. And what are they killed for? Money, greed, wrong color, wrong religion. By the psychopaths of the world. Wake up, ladies and gentlemen, before it's too late. And say no to Mr. Claus. Once he gets his claws into you, you shall feel the wrath. Give peace a chance? Yeah, give me a break. Do you believe in fairy tales? Great. Hold that vision until you are no more. Warning. World peace from the darkness. If you believe this, then you still believe in Santa Claus. And to those who live their silly little lives in a fairy tale, wake up before you are deleted out of the story. It goes like this. World peace, obey your masters, and all shall be good. Prophecy 5. The Global Vision of Dread. Have you been having bad dreams and visions of impending doom? You're not alone. Millions of people the world over are having the same dreams and the same visions. Why do you think so many people are having such horrific feelings of fear that something bad is coming? Hmm. Could it mean that your inner self and spirit knows that something is wrong? Think about it. Being deaf, dumb, and blind are what? They are the three horrors of life. It has been said 90% of the world's population is scheduled for termination. You must ask yourself, what are your odds for survival? Evil has set into motion a plan to exterminate the vast majority of the world's population that have been classified as useless eaters. Therefore, I ask the question, what are you? I make it very 
clearly known, do not wait until a gun is pointed at your head to realize you have been classified as a useless eater and you therefore are scheduled for termination. The darkness, rest assured, shall show no heart, as it is the mercy killing of the animals of the world, the dehumanizing of the masses with fear, as it is a global cleansing. Therefore, be prepared, the masses shall be dumbed down and will never know what hits them. People of the world, or I should say prisoners of the world, it's time to wake up from the trance or die. You're afraid? You should be. Even the blind of the world know something is definitely wrong. Enjoy every perfect moment you can as everything is temporary in the illusion. Trust me, those in the darkness shall tell you everything is going to be okay. Prophecy 6 Deception of the Masses There shall be new charismatic leaders coming and going, promising everything and doing nothing except to create more problems on this earth. There will be new saviors and messiah figures appearing to save the people of the world. When in fact, the world is run by a very private group of clowns with a very specific agenda. And what is that agenda? You, the people, are victims and they have something planned for you, and you will love it, I bet. Nothing in this illusion is by chance. It is by design. Therefore, it's true, the clowns are in charge. And to those who say I'm a little depressed, and to those who say I need some drugs to relax me, of course you do. How about a nice rope to hang yourself with? It's what they want you to do. They want you to exterminate yourself. Wake up, people of the world. The masters of deception rule. And to those who believe Armageddon's coming, well, what great fear and negative energy is being released into the universal consciousness. Be careful for what you wish for, for it could become your worst nightmare. Prophecy 7 Full Disclosure to Mankind there shall be the release of secret information regarding the true history of mankind. Secret information that will destroy all preconceived and indoctrinated beliefs and knowledge ever known or understood by mankind. Imagine waking up one morning and discovering it's a whole new world out there with unlimited possibilities that never existed before. Imagine finding out that there is an inner earth with civilizations older than our history with technologies light years ahead of ours. Imagine finding out that aliens have been coming here since our beginning as a race and that mankind was created from the genetic DNA codes of a multitude of alien benefactors. Imagine to learn that Merlin and King Arthur were real. Dragons and shapeshifters are real. Fairies and the little people are real. Vampires, witches, demons are real. And that there are stargates to other dimensions and that the governments of the world, and that being the secret governments of the world, have treaties with multiple alien entities. Think about it. Mankind has many bases off world, and mankind at the very secret level knows that time travel is real. Imagine the horror mankind will truly feel to learn that he is not at the top of the food chain. And imagine the horror to discover that we were created to be nothing more than slaves and to be nothing more than food. Yes, everything you believed in shall fall down as it is a fairy tale and we have been lied to. It is time to wake up. Anything you can think of or imagine that was a fairy tale or a conspiracy will in most cases prove to be real. Yes, something to look forward in the coming times. Prophecy 8 The Holy Sacred Seal 
of the people is broken. The sacred and holy temples of the masses shall be entered by the darkness, and that from which has entered the temple shall lie dormant until called forth. So it's time to line up for your protection shot. Relax, it'll be over soon. And some will ask, uh, what is it that you're injecting into me? And the doctors will always reply, I don't know exactly. They just told me it's good for you. And billions shall perish from the earth from the simple act of trust. Trust me, it's good for you. You may ask a question, why do I need this? They'll tell you, it's flu season. Of course it's flu season. Warning, it's time to wake up. Death is a big business. Think about it. Prophecy 9. Global Transformation. The dismantling and complete elimination of all current religions and indoctrinated belief systems. That means no more religions. That means no more personal belief systems. You have to have religion. How else will you find God without it? Bless me, Father. I have lots and lots of faith. My children, I bless you all. What will the world do without being told what to do? The masses will be lost without their spirit guides. The people of the world need lots and lots and lots of faith. How will anyone know how to pray without some organized religion telling them how to do it? The question shall always remain the same. For whom do you serve? Prophecy 10 Global Surveillance of the Masses Is it wise we the people of the world should have no fear? As Big Brother is here to watch us and to protect us? Is it wise Big Brother is here to monitor you 24 hours per day for the rest of your life? Imagine being watched every day of your life. Can you see how safe you'll be? Of course you can. Thank you, Big Brother. And there's more to come from Big Brother. Imagine how safe you and your family will be when computer chips are inserted into your sacred temples, that being your bodies. See how safe you're going to be? There shall be no place upon this earth you can go without being monitored 24 hours a day by Big Brother. But keep in mind, it's for your protection. What a fantastic concept in global security. Know in your heart, you are not alone. You are being watched all the time. Prophecy 11. Genetically Engineered Diseases The release of advanced genetically engineered diseases, creating incurable diseases and plagues upon the people of the world. Diseases and plagues with swift and deadly consequences that will eradicate billions of souls from this planet. Hello folks, it's time to wake up. And you'll have them. Don't worry, have no fear. Deadly diseases, we're the experts. We'll help you. Everything will be okay. Trust us, we got you covered. Yes, they got you covered in a body bag. The horrors committed upon the innocence of this world could bring tears to a glass eye. Prophecy 12. Global starvation. Why do they have to die from starvation? because they have to die because they've been classified as useless eaters by a very few at the top. Imagine a world with so much, and why is there starvation? It's a fact. The needs of a very few far outweigh the needs of the masses. Therefore, ask the billions of human beings who die each year from starvation. Oh, you can't, they're dead. And then, if that isn't enough, how about the people who die from eating too much? Folks, something's not right in this world. With great respect, is this whore really necessary? The sin of it all. With great respect, please, is this really necessary? Wake up. Prophecy 13, Global Food Shortages. 
In the not too distant future, food and water shall be the deciding point whether you live or die. Will there be food shortages? No way. Ask the billions of men and women and children who die from starvation. Think about it. The people who die of starvation, these could be you. They could be your loved ones. One must ask the question, who or what issued the orders to create genetically engineered food and for what reason and to what end? Rest assured, it's your end. Do you know one out of four people in the world are going to get cancer? That's 25% of the world's population. I think there's a problem. But what about the other 75%? What about them who will not get cancer? Don't feel left out. You'll have strokes, heart attacks, diabetes, brain tumors, Alzheimer's, mental disorders, on and on and on. Much more is waiting for you. The horror of it all. Imagine the evil, sick and twisted psychopaths of the world who work for the darkness to kill their own kind. The sin. Hey, how about some fresh genetically engineered food? It's direct from our laboratory, say the psychopaths. Who needs Mother Earth when you have science? How about some fresh grown GMO corn? Excellent for you. Warning, in the not too distant future, food will be the deciding point between life or death. So enjoy your dinner. It could be your last. Prophecy 14, Global Warfare. Multi-wars will be orchestrated and directed and waged in every nation upon this world. Global wars that will have disastrous consequences to all of mankind with countless lives lost. War is big business. Ask those who promote it. As planned, expect World War III. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to war we go and all shall be done as planned by the masters. Something is wrong in this world, folks. War is coming soon to your hometown. So what can you do? Ask those sound asleep in their dream world. The answer is simple. Buckle up, hang on, and enjoy the ride of a lifetime, as it's going to be a rough one. And it shall come to pass. The rivers of the world shall run red with blood from the countless souls slaughtered, the sin of it all. Prophecy 15, Weapons of Mass Destruction. Weapons of mass destruction shall be used to instill fear into the masses of the world. To what purpose and to what end shall this exercise serve? What do you think? The absolute control of the masses by way of induced fear and intimidation. Something is wrong in this world, you must ask a question. Who or what is orchestrating this cartoon? Yes, it's a lot to take in. However, ignorance, the act of not knowing, shall not save you from the horror. My God, it's breathtaking, were the last words said by this fool. Prophecy 16. New super weapon of mass illusion. Wow, this is exciting. The introduction of a new super weapon of mass illusion that will be used globally against the people of the world to ensure the complete capitulation of any and all resistance to the new masters. A new super weapon of mass destruction that sounds exciting, that is fun. Something is wrong. Have you been having feelings of being stressed and tension? Have you been suffering with a lot of headaches? Do you feel like you're going crazy? You're not alone. It will be felt worldwide and it's going to get worse. So get ready to experience the greatest global show you have ever seen or witnessed coming soon from the sky. It's showtime. Experience the thrills and excitement of a new super weapon that is not from this world. It's guaranteed to instill global horror so be prepared to scream in pure horror. It shall be the invasion of planet Earth in glorious 3D terror. Folks, expect some weird stuff to happen very soon. Something's not right in this world. Can you feel it? Of course you can. It is a transformation of horror into enlightenment. It's called death. Ooh. 
say the idiots. Prophecy 17. The beast shall be seen by all. Will mankind defeat the beast of darkness? Think about it. Who or what is controlling this world? Is mankind nothing more than a slave to an unseen darkness? Is mankind nothing more than food for some unseen beings? Eat up, little chickies. We have plans for you. What if something had big plans for humans? It's time to wake up, folks, for the beast is at your throat. Do you really believe the darkness cares about you and your future? If you believe this, then good luck in your dream world, for it is a sin. Do you really believe when you look upon the beast with your big cow eyes, you will be spared from the cleansing process? Wake up. The beast is, was, and shall always be, as long as mankind requests its almighty presence. Darkness is coming soon, so get ready. It's a command performance. The great and hidden mystery of what really is controlling this world shall be revealed to all. I wonder what it is, for the dragons have risen from the depths of the ocean, and it is here now. Expect some exciting times. And to all those who gaze upon the face shall gasp in horror, and all shall be good. This is exciting. Hello, it's me. Prophecy 18. Guess who's coming to dinner? Whoa, the arrival. Fantastic, the arrival. The intervention and the interference from a multitude of alien beings. Aliens with planned agendas for the control of planet Earth other aliens with open agendas for peaceful coexistence. Yeah, right. The very near future is going to be miraculous. It's going to be fantastic, especially when you discover that aliens have been with us since the beginning and that you are one of them. Warning! And to those of you who believe the aliens are coming to save mankind, wake up! It could mean your very life. The time of great change is upon mankind. So enjoy the show. It's going to be fantastic. Hi, we're here to help you. Yeah, right. And to all those with their money, all the money in the world will not save you when they come to feed upon you. Good luck. Prophecy 19. Unnatural global events. The world's climate is going to be changed, manipulated and directed to cause horror and disruption and great turmoil upon the people. Why? For control, that's why. Dangerous climatic changes on a global scale. Expect massive rainfalls, lightning storms, windstorms, drought. Expect massive earth shift, massive earthquakes and massive sinkholes. Wow, this is going to be exciting the horror of it all. Therefore, expect a lot of damage. Expect a lot of lost business. Expect a lot of horror. Expect a lot of inconvenience. People will have to live with a lot less. Yes, it's going to be exciting. Prophecy 20. Global Financial Collapse. Never before in all of man's history has the wealth of the world been so concentrated into the hands of a selected few. Therefore, the wealth and power will be concentrated even more by way of a global financial meltdown. In essence, competition is a sin. The elimination of the US dollar as a global paper currency of trade shall be eliminated. The global sickness of the masses Billions of people the world over worshipping pieces of paper with ink on them. And this is what they call real value? What is the concept of money? Whoever or whatever created this grand illusion for all of mankind to sell their souls for is truly a master of deception. The horror of it all. Make no mistake, darkness is more powerful than you can imagine. 
Ask the billions upon billions of people of this earth who have been hoodwinked into believing paper from a tree is their holy God of happiness. Now you know pain and horror rule this world. And your credit cards, fantastic. The perfect solution to enhance the illusion. The perfect act of usury. An absolutely brilliant concept of enslaving the masses of the world. Whoa, the money vampires of the world are here to suck your life. Beware of usury, the lending of money with an interest charge for its use. And beware of the usurer, one that lends money, especially at an exorbitant rate. Imagine for a moment, billions of people have died by way of desire, greed, ego, vanity, murder, rape, and wars for these small pieces of paper called money. Do you seriously believe a global collapse of the monetary system will change anything? Hey, do you still believe in Santa Claus? Ho, 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 do not worry, boys and girls. We will create a new system for you to worship. And please remember, only those who created the system can collapse their system. Rest assured, they have a new system for you to believe in. Wow! And when the crap hits the fan, the old paper shall be excellent for wiping yourself. Now can you see the real value? And hang on, the new system is a long-awaited new world order and all shall be good. Have no fear, folks. Everything is going to be just fine as there shall be new clowns in control. Prophecy 21. The power of instilled hatred. The concept of hatred, prejudice, hostility, animosity, with extreme prejudice against humanity directed from an entity shrouded in darkness. So beware, hatred. Would you not agree there is a lot of hatred being created in the world today? I wonder why and I wonder to what end. Could it be the people of the world have been orchestrated to destroy themselves from within through the act of hate, in turn causing no restriction or resistance to any forms of external persuasion from the masters of illusion? Never cause harm onto yourself because the heaviness of the world gets you down. It's not you. Don't blame yourself. The darkness is imprinting fear into your being. Fight for what is right. Your life, no retreat, no surrender. And it shall come to pass. All rivers of the world shall run red with blood from the countless souls slaughtered from the acts of hate. Going down? Remember, Misery loves company into the abyss, into the darkness, and all shall be done to the masses as planned. How about some drugs to relax you? It's just what the doctor ordered. Prophecy 22. Global Paratism. Greed, the obsession of the global elite, control the global reward from the act of greed all of which means global parasitism of the masses. And what is a parasite? A parasite is an entity that feeds off another life form without making adequate return to the host it feeds upon. Have you ever had the feeling something was sucking your life force energy? Parasitism is the perverse act of usury that is destroying mankind. Please understand, the needs of a very few shall always be far more important than the many who take up good space and breathe good oxygen. Therefore, the masses shall be dumbed down and they shall never know what hits them. Dehumanizing the masses. You must have no heart as it is mercy killing of the animals before the global cleansing. Wow! How about some more drugs? Wake up, people! Prophecy 23. The total and complete destruction and elimination of all independent nations and their respected cultures. Be prepared for great change to take place upon this earth. 
and it shall be on a global scale never before witnessed. Be prepared for angry demonstrations in every country and nation of the world. Be prepared for global civil disobedience. Glory be to the horror, say the silly fools. Ignorance, the act of not knowing, will not save you from this horror. People of the world, evil has set into motion a plan to exterminate the vast majority of the world's population. Therefore, what are you? People of the world, or are you prisoners of the world? And attention, citizens of the world, C-O-W-S, the cows, the time is upon all of mankind to stop the darkness. Darkness that is ignorance, stupidity, desire, and greed. And the cattle of the world play as if there was no tomorrow. And they were right. How about some drugs to relax you? Hey, we have some excellent drugs to put you to sleep. Prophecy 24. Global civil disobedience. Chaos, civil disobedience, a world-class event. In all the great cities of the world, there shall be civil disobedience against the government. Police states, martial law, enforced worldwide for your protection. And to all those who choose peaceful demonstrations, obey or be beaten, it's your choice. Yes, all the great cities of the world shall be in chaos. What could be making the people of the world so mad? that all the great cities of the world shall be in flames? Hmm. The answer is simple. Obey your masters. Obey or die your choice. Prophecy 25. And the heads shall roll. And it shall come to pass that when the heads begin to roll, you shall know the bad slaves of the world who do not obey their masters are going to be punished. Those in control are going to teach you a lesson. They have done it before and they shall do it again. And the masses shall fall to their knees in total fear and horror. And all shall obey the laws of the new masters and all shall be good. Why? Because fear is the ultimate weapon to make the slaves of the world obey their masters. However, for what comes around shall go around, so be forewarned. Prophecy 26 And the truth shall be known to all. The truth shall set you free. You shall discover that the human race is part of something much grander than the mediocre illusions that have been forced upon mankind to believe. That inner earth is real. That mankind was genetically created by the gods to be food source and to be used for slave labor. That there are star portals and gates to other galaxies and multi-dimensional planes of existence. That time travel is real and used for manipulation. That the oldest business on the earth is the mining industry. And that all the gold mined is for off-world use. It's not gold that's so important. It's what's in between gold and certain other minerals that are so important to the off-worlders. It is immortality, life extension, interdimensional multiverse travel and communications. In essence, the universal spice must flow. There has always been a cure for diseases. There's always been a cure for all the ailments and sicknesses, but it's not for us. The fairy tales regarding dragons, magic, shapeshifters, vampires, they're all real. Human beings have been harvested for millenniums for their valued ingredient qualities. However, this information, plus much, much more, is for the survivors of the planned global cleansing process that is scheduled to take place in the not too distant future. This sounds exciting, would you not agree? Maybe some more drugs are needed to relax you. Prophecy 27. The Middle East erupts. So what else is new? An age-old time bomb just waiting to happen will ignite into horror and bloodshed. 
millions of lives shall perish into the ravages of war in the Middle East. All that once was shall no longer be. The people shall have to move to the mountains in the Northeast, and all shall be done as planned. The horror of it all. To whom it may concern. The prophecies, the warning. Be forewarned. Those who serve the darkness shall not escape the retribution of the chaos, for it is the collective judgment of the true light. Therefore, pay heed. And to those selected few who know and who have been informed of this apocalyptic event for mankind, and to their own personal agendas, initiatives, by way of alternatives to survive this transition, be forewarned. You shall not escape the retribution of the chaos, for it is the collective judgment of the light, the very light that flows through your veins. In essence, the water of life shall be subject to the energy and vibrations of this preordained event, for no one escapes. And to those living on planets near or far away, and to those whether in sync or out of phase of this dimensional plane, you shall feel the chaos and be subject to its recourse. And to those living deep within the bowels of this planet, and to those living on top of mountains or wherever or whatever, be forewarned, no one escapes. The Seven Projections to Survive the first projection. Awaken in the light and rise from the trance-induced coma inflicted upon all of mankind from the darkness. The second projection. Those electing to rise above the nothingness search and acquire the elusive substance that is the primordial essence of all life. The third projection. Raise the internal light force energy of your whole being through steadfast belief and self-preservation of self. The fourth projection. Surround your third and multi-dimensional bodies in a golden shield of protective light. Broadcast the golden light in multiple energy patterns that are mutable, adaptable, in matching parallel energy force in order to neutralize and balance the negative vibrational frequencies being directed from the evil operating from within the dimensional plane. The fifth projection. Maintain internal zero-point balance through self-manifestation of unattachment, thereby creating floating linear balance points from within that will direct your light of life in spherical motions of perpetual life force energy to sustain self from directed attacks from evil operating out of phase or sync from the multidimensional collective life force mainstream energy flow. The Sixth Projection Faith is the golden foundation of all awakened consciousness. If there is no faith, then who or what shall believe you when you say you are awake and worthy of such an adventure in the light? The Seventh Projection In essence, if you do not have faith and believe in self, then it is far better to remain asleep in the comfort of knowing that in the greater scheme of things one day you shall awake. Therefore, in the meantime, enjoy the horror of your sleep. Be prepared to stand on your own. Today, in my opinion, at this moment in time, I see nothing that would cease the horror unfolding upon this planet except more horror. Further to this, in my opinion, I assure you the power, control, money, wealth, and big businesses of the world will do absolutely nothing until it's too late. However, they will collectively use the hive mentality process. They will act through their puppet governments, agencies, elected poll parrots, and stooges to set into motion lip service to the horrors unfolding upon this planet. 
These acts are nothing more than an exercise in futility. They are nothing more than pretending to go through the motions of doing something. However, these acts of doing something are nothing more than acts of illusion to appease the sheep who are sound asleep. Yes, they will have news conferences, world days, children days, family days, world forums, meetings, seminars, public awareness rallies. Yes, they will make beautiful television commercials, TV shows, documentaries, print beautiful books, magazines, and information brochures. And yes, they will enlist all the experts of the world and pour billions of dollars into research and feasibility studies to baffle and to bewilder you. And of course, pass more laws and taxes that bind and restrict personal freedoms, all of which do nothing to rectify the problem except enhance global fear and hopelessness which serves a hidden agenda of the darkness all of which the world gets sicker and sicker. In my opinion, I see nothing that will cease the horror except the destruction of mankind as we know it. There are literally billions of people the world over who are having dreams, visions, and premonitions that something dark and terrible is about to happen to the planet. Are you one of them? In essence, be one of the survivors, for I assure you, not all shall perish when Mother Earth unleashes her wrath. Did I say Mother Earth? Yes, I did. For Mother Earth is alive, and it shall be her who, so to speak, shall put the icing on the cake. Or as they say in the show business world, get ready for the grand finale. And what is a grand finale? The best way I could describe it would be this. That being the total and complete annihilation of all souls inhabiting this earth and beyond who stand in or have been polluted by the darkness. In essence, the termination of the bacteria that feeds upon Mother Earth, as it is the bacteria that has gone totally out of control and must be brought back into balance and harmony. And rest assured, your politicians, governments, and leaders will not save you. After all, who feeds ice cream to pigs? Mother Earth shall act in defense. A concept in survival. Think of Mother Earth as a newborn child, full of life and full of wonders. Then one day a cancer forms, and it spreads everywhere causing death. What will Mother Earth do? Well. Mother Earth will act in defense and will destroy the evil cancer that is eating her. And the process of self-cleansing begins. How? By way of earthquakes, volcanoes, sinkholes, hot weather, droughts, cold weather, hurricanes, tidal waves, flooding, electrical storms, rainstorms, windstorms, just to name a few. It's interesting to note, in the alternative healthcare industry, when a person becomes sick, you commence the process of detoxification. This means the body must be cleansed through the elimination of all poisons and toxins. Therefore, the process of detoxification for Mother Earth and mankind are the same. Mother Earth and mankind are one in the same. Mankind is created from the dust of Mother Earth and shall return as dust to Mother Earth. So what does this all mean? It means things are going to get bad on planet Earth. Do you remember the dinosaurs? Of course you do. Maybe mankind should wake up before we become extinct like the dinosaurs. And what's your opinion, Mr. Cancer? Mm. Warning, planet Earth is under attack by greed and ignorance. Earth is home to billions of people Therefore, why are a few destroying our planet? I'll give you an example. The mining industry is one of the most destructive industries on planet Earth. It destroys the environment, it endangers all life, it contaminates the air and waters of the world, and yet there it is. Millions of tons of deadly toxins are released into our environment. They pollute our rivers, lakes, streams. It is sickening 
The mercury pollution that is infecting and killing people all around the world is a sin against all sin. Did you know that over 1,000 tons of mercury is released in the environment each and every year? That's sad. Did you know that over 50 species of animals die every day on planet Earth? That over 55 million barrels of crude oil are taken out of Mother Earth every day? Folks, these barrels of oil, this is the blood of Mother Earth. And then you wonder why we have earthquakes. Did you also know that 50 million tons of carbon dioxide are put in the Earth's atmosphere every day? Hey, wake up. How long can you live without air? About as long as you can hold your breath. Therefore, I ask the question, why are 50 million tons of carbon dioxide put into Earth's atmosphere every day? Something's wrong. Hey, there's even more. How about the lungs of the world? Did you know that over 23,000 hectares of forest are cut down every day? These are the lungs of the world. Did you also know that over 10,000 hectares are turned into deserts each and every day? Air pollution, why? Something is wrong. Water pollution, why? Something is very, very wrong in this world. Imagine a world filled with life being destroyed by greed. Who in their right mind would destroy the world they live upon if not for greed and ignorance? What being in its right mind would pollute its home in its own garbage? Answer an animal classified as a useless eater. Nuclear power, this is fantastic. The last thing the world needs is more horror from the psychopaths of science. It's time to wake up before it's too late. How about a nice cool one of all the pollution? Hey, let's go fishing, we'll have a lot of fun. And on behalf of the beings classified as useless eaters of the worlds, they did not create this horror story that is taking place upon this planet. It is the evil act of pure greed and usury directed from a few beings who represent the darkness. Therefore, welcome to the horror show. Enjoy the show, you are in it, have fun. The Chronicles of Horror. A brief history of mass killings is here for you to read. It is millions upon millions of souls that have been exterminated off this planet for what? For what? Ask yourself for what? For greed, money, possession, religion, gold? The sickness, the horror of it all. Did you know millions of children and adults disappear each and every year? This has been going on for who knows when. Something's wrong. Where are all these people going each and every year? How can they just disappear from the earth? Where are the bodies of the missing? What a wonderful world we live in. Just ask the millions who disappear off the face of the earth. And what about child sacrifices? How many children worldwide disappear from this planet? How many are taken for their internal organs? How many are used for sex? How many are used for blood sacrifices? And then, that's even more. Something's not quite right here. What type of God commands and condones children to be killed for blood sacrifices? Wake up people before it's too late. And it doesn't stop here. What about all the animal sacrifices? The horror and the sin that the numbers are in the countless millions each and every year for animals that die for blood sacrifices to appease the darkness. Yes, you gotta have faith, lots and lots of faith. Millions of people die each and every year of starvation. This makes no sense at all. Think about it. When the powerful militaries of the world spend well over two billion dollars plus per day, and for what? To protect us, the people, from who? Could it be them? Think about it. Two billion dollars per day. That's 730 billion dollars per year. I think you could prevent a lot of people from starving to death with this money. Do you seriously believe those in control of this world care whether you starve to death? I don't think so. Their record speaks for itself. The horrors committed against the helpless and the innocent are the acts of pure evil that are intentionally directed from the darkness that controls this grand illusion called life. Therefore, evil always works its magic under the safe veil of darkness. And how do you destroy darkness? Simple, get out of the darkness. Therefore, expect some exciting times. The Nemesis. There is a center point that runs linear from within all living matter that keeps in check 
the two opposing opposites of created matter. You could call this center point the nemesis. The nemesis acts only when balance is disturbed. Therefore, the nemesis shall soon appear. It is just a question of time and time is an illusion. So beware imbalance. Therefore, it is the blade centered upon the sword of light that stands on guard for eternity against the egos of the two opposing opposites. However, if one comprehends this, then what has happened to our world that we live in? In my opinion, it would appear there is great imbalance. Therefore, the nemesis shall soon appear. It is just a question of time and time as an illusion, so again, beware imbalance. The Art of Personal Survival when one witnesses and experiences the horrors human beings suffer in this world, it would be wise indeed to prepare oneself just in case something does manifest. Therefore, at a personal level, it would be wise to stock up on the necessities of life. Ensure that you and your family have water, food, medical supplies, some form of protection to defend yourself, a few precious metals in case of a financial collapse, a place to retreat to that is on high ground at least 500 meters plus above sea level. Further, you require protective clothing and temporary shelter. In essence, be prepared and be a survivor. For whom do you serve? As in all great adventures, sooner or later, you will come to a fork in the road. By this I mean, in your pathway of life, your pathway shall divide into two. For all those who arrive at this point of balance, the question remains. Which path do you choose? Do you go to the left or do you go to the right? To put this another way, do you choose the light or do you choose the dark? However, fear not, for sooner or later these divided pathways in your road of life shall realign as one again, and off you must go again on the pathway of life. However, will you be one of the ones who re-emerges from this illusion? I trust you shall. Therefore, for whom do you serve? Once upon a time. Once upon a time there was a kingdom great and glorious, but through its own actions, the kingdom was destroyed. Today, only fragments of their memories exist recorded in history by way of stories, fables, songs, and relics. Are we a kingdom great and glorious? A mere reflection of what was, what is, and what shall be? I trust not. For if it is, then it shall be our actions that will destroy our present kingdom. We who elect to survive today are the survivors of tomorrow. Let us not repeat this exercise again and again and again. For the warning signs of impending chaos are here and they are crystal clear to those who know. Believe everything and believe nothing. The concept of belief is to believe in everything and to believe in nothing. Doing this places you at the center point of belief. Do this and you will be closer to the real truth. Having faith in illusions is dangerous. Faith is unequivocal trust in the prime creator. Ask the billions of souls who have died because of false belief systems. The quest for truth is life, love, peace and freedom to all who seek the truth. Let the truth be known to all who seek the wisdom of the Grand Creator. And by seeking the Grand Creator's wisdom is to see the vision of life. On this it shall be, therefore let the quest begin. Of the highest honor. To those who stand in the light of the Prime Creator, you know to those moving towards the light, keep going, 
you're almost there. To those seeking the light, do not search. Wake up and see the light. To those in the darkness, there is nothing to say except enjoy your sleep. And to those electing to leave the light to return to the darkness, enjoy your adventure. Contemplation in retrospect. Wherever there is, then there is not. Whenever there is light, then there is darkness. Whenever there is peace, then war is inevitable. Where there is white, there is black. Where there is love, then hate exists. For as long as these two extreme polarities exist in opposites, then chaos rules the day. To change these opposing opposites, the opposites must be inverted into a singularity of zero balance energy. By this, I state, a neutral polarity must be created, cancelling out each of the opposing magnetic flows of primordial matter, thereby manifesting stillness in light. For the stillness in light to take place upon this earth, there shall first be great chaos that shall lead to mass elimination of polluted minds and structured belief systems. However, as I stated previously, there shall be survivors, and for your consideration, are you one of them? In essence, these great series of events are nothing more today than the reflection of the vision, the vision preparing the way for change. In my opinion, and from what I have witnessed, I assure you, great change there shall be upon the face of this earth. In my opinion, the vision is no longer abstracts and illusions, but is instead real and tangible. The great series of events has commenced, and it has for a long time. No one in their right mind can believe everything unfolding in this world today is okay. You would have to be on drugs to believe this. And on behalf of those who are on drugs and believe the fairy tales, you're already dead. You just have not laid down yet, but you shall, unless you wake up. Think about it. Thousands upon thousands of years of our history laden in conquest. War, murder, rape, pillage, slaughter, and mass extermination of countless souls. Why is this? Could it be because of the false doctrines and belief systems implemented to control the slaves of the world? Yes, I believe in the vision, for it ushers in the golden age of illumination and enlightenment for mankind. The golden age, the ultimate process of cleansing that shall breathe out all diffused reflections of light, refocusing the internal life force energy back to where it came from an event that shall last over 1,000 years before the next cycle of awakening commences for mankind. Therefore, I state, so it begins as above, so below, the perfection in the light for all who elect to awaken. To control your destiny, you must control your life. To control your life, you must be free. What is freedom? Freedom is the quality or state of being free. And what is a freeborn? It means you are not born in vassalage or slavery. Now, what is a freeloader? A freeloader are beings that impose upon another's generosity or hospitality without sharing in the cost. Does the word parasite mean anything to you? What do you think governments have become? think about it. In closing, as I stated at the beginning, it is wise to believe in everything and to believe in nothing. Treat everything in the prophecies as nothing more than pure fiction and pure fairy tales, and here it shall remain until time unfolds. The concept of belief is to believe in everything and to believe in nothing. Doing this places you at the center point of a belief. 
Do this and you will be closer to the real truth. Having faith in illusions is dangerous. Faith is unequivocal trust in the Prime Creator. Ask the billions of souls who have died because of false belief systems. I trust you enjoyed the prophecies and found them entertaining and enlightening, and I thank you for sharing your time. The true power, wisdom, and light on this dimensional plane is love. As to the prophecies, you be the judge. After all, it's your life. Or is it? It is what it is. There is no higher honor than to love one another. There is no greater treasure than the pleasure of another. Love is the greatest power of all. Let there be love and kindness to all beings.